Um, one person I know um, who will be having his camera off is Craig uh, Goldblatt. Many of you uh, have heard of him, not necessarily met him, but he's here today listening um, and he's in a car. <laughs> so he's gonna be very sensible. Okay, so thank you to Alessandro. So this is um, a little introduction to Collaboration Global, just so you kind of know that you can't put us in a box, okay? It is um, a passion, it is a way of living, it is a way of being. Um, it's something we want you to just try on for size and see if it's a bit different. It's looking at business through a different lens, it's looking at your personal circumstances through a different lens, it's looking at the future of our planet and our society through a different lens. It's an opportunity for us to kind of connect to what is possible and what solutions we can face. So as this is our end of year celebration, I want to reflect back on the year we've just had and the year that is going to come. So I would just love you to, if you don't mind, pop into the chat space, one big thing, just one big thing that you were so pleased about last year. Just have a couple of minutes to think maybe. Uh, and while I'm talking, just pop it into the chat space so that we can see you. Um, just wondering why we haven't gone on to speak of you. Anybody else got speak of you? I had self you speaker. Let's go. No, I've just got Alessandra, which is strange. Okay, normally it switches over. Let's try some stuff. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so I'm recording Alessandra at the moment. Isn't technology wonderful when it works? I don't know what's happening there. Let's go back. I shall go back to my lovely picture. I'll share my screen and that's much more, as much as we love. Um, I, I don't have to you. unpin, you have to unpin him. Oh, I didn't know I pinned him in the first place. Okay. I, I think it's probably your speaker view. If you look top right on your Zoom, you'll have view and then you've got speaker or gallery, but it will only be your view. So Zoom records both the speaker view and the gallery view for you if you're if you're recording it in the cloud. Thank you. I was thinking, glad to have somebody who knows what they're doing. Thank you very much, Richard. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you're putting some things into the chat space about what was something amazing that happened to you last year. In Collaboration Global, as a community, we have a space every Friday. There's a little post goes up on our platform and says, how was your week? What were the good bits? What were the not so good bits? And it's a really good habit to get into to review. If you review your day, awesome. If you review a week, even better, or a month. So this is us looking back on the year. So my highlight, I'll let you know into a little secret. Not many of you know this. My highlight was something that I had nothing to do with whatsoever. The best part of my year was becoming a grandmother. <laughs> so I'm, I'm beginning the journey now of probably putting myself out there and being a very, very good grandmother, the best I possibly can be. But that was a highlight of my year. But as far as Collaboration Global is concerned, my other highlight is the altogether different event that we had in June, uh, where we had amazing speakers. We had people speak from around the world. We had um, attendees from around the world. And it taught me so much. It wasn't um, as good as I'd always wanted it to be, but you know what? With me, it never is. It's really interesting that I'm always looking for the next, it should have been this, it should have been that, why wasn't it that? And actually now a few months have gone past, I can look back and go, we were amazing. It was incredible. And when I look at the testimonials at the same time, I'm dead chuffed. So for me to have that as a tick in the box, it was me going, I helped that person, I helped that person, I helped that person. And ultimately, that's what Collaboration Global is about, is how many people can we reach and how many people can we help? That's it, bottom line. So what I'd like you to think about now is heading forward, 2023. I'm not a great fan of goals, but what I do is I spend some time putting down my wish list, what I'd love to happen. I want to be on more stages. I want to speak more. I want to get um, paid for being on stage. I want to be paid more for uh, writing, uh, doing my writing for articles or books or whatever. Um, I want to grow our community. I want to find a way to see everything um, organically coming together from a place of all of us connecting, collaborating and making a bigger difference in the world. So again, put in the chat space, one big, fat, hairy, 
audacious goal that you would like to achieve next year. Because you know what? If you're on your own, it's really hard to do all on your own. You need good people around you. I could never have done the altogether different event last June with probably counting on both hands a dozen people. I had the, the main team, which was Lizzie uh, and Ben Drury. I had a fabulous crew, which was Alan Brown, Louise Richardson, uh, and her daughter, Jen. I had amazing speakers, too many to mention, and lots of people that gave me advice and support along the way. Al Tepper's here today. He was another great advocate for me. And also, they gave me courage to do it. They gave me the, come on, you can do this. And I'm like, okay. Because I don't know about you, but every so often I've got that little voice going, really, can you, should you? Oh, honestly, little Jill from the East End of London, what are you thinking? You can't do that. That's ridiculous. And I have to make them go quiet and put them in a box somewhere else and not listen to them, which is why I surround myself with wonderful, positive, proactive, get off their bums and get stuff done people. If that's you, then this is a good place for you to be. Okay, so that's what Collaboration Global is. It's a global level where we can look to the future and you'll be looking at some of that in our curiosity section later on, where we can see what the world is like and how we can have a part in making it better. All the way down to who am I as an individual to go collaborate? I need to be the best I can possibly be to make a brilliant collaboration for other people and everything in between. And what you'll find your business is stuck in there somewhere in the middle and that business can grow more when you collaborate but unless you've done some work on yourself your collaboration isn't necessarily going to fly and why you're collaborating is the most important thing and it's like you've heard with Simon Sinek start with why um, you can definitely get more done when there are other people around you and you've shared your purpose and you've aligned your values and you understand why you're in the game because ultimately this planet that we're on this life we lead it's all a game so we'll have a look through uh, at some of your audacious goals. And if there's anybody in here that can help you with that audacious goal, please do a little connection. Put your LinkedIn uh, details up there as well so you can actually connect with each other. And maybe this is the birth of a collaboration that will come to fruition next year. And if it does, if it is, please let me know. I like to celebrate as well. Maybe this time next year. Okay, thank you. So that's Collaboration Global.